I wanted to be a musician because it seemed, um, it seemed rebellious, it seemed subversive. David Bowie's colossal breakthrough came in 1972 when he conjured up the alluring Ziggy Stardust persona and released a proto-metal record that was to redefine glam rock forever. I was not a natural performer. I didn't feel at ease on stage. But I felt really comfortable going on stage as somebody else. And it seemed a, a rational decision to keep on doing that. From that moment on, Bowie's progressive ambitions built his towering music career as he adopted various styles that balanced his high art aspirations with commercial sensibilities. He could just move from form to form, do what interested him, and he wasn't afraid of being ridiculed. Throughout his decade-spanning career, he had a number of top 20 albums and singles that were performed by the different personas he adopted. Ziggy Stardust, The Thin White Duke, and the kimono-wearing Aladdin Sane. Each of these fearless phases in the 70s sparked a number of subgenres, including punk, new wave, goth rock, the new romantics, and electronica. Few pop icons reinvented themselves as wholeheartedly and artistically as David Bowie, and with such advancing impact. Now Ziggy play guitar, jamming good with weird and spiders he made people understand that it was okay to be different. He was an inventor as well and an originator, and he never made the same album twice. Governed by a determination to steer away from the cliches of rock and roll, not only did he influence other artists, but he encouraged the world to engage with music and culture on a whole new level. With exclusive footage and interviews, we look back at the iconic legacy and pay tribute to one of the world's cultural heroes, David Bowie.